Everybody thinks the Salvation Army is a red kettle and a ringing bell or a thrift store. And while those are pieces of what we do, really the, the nuts and bolts of what we do is helping people to survive by meeting their immediate physical needs of food or clothing. But really what we want to do is help folks to thrive. We built the facility on, on the premise that this would be an oasis of hope and it really has proven to be that. And so for so many families without a solid support system, there's the Salvation Army and they can come to us and know that not only are we gonna do what we can to help them physically, but we're gonna listen to them and provide the emotional and spiritual support that they also may be needing. It's such a two-way relationship because the community is telling us what what is happening to them and what's happening to their bodies, but they're also saying, now this is what we want next. So we're coming out with new classes and new curriculum that continues to meet the needs of the community. So a typical class always has a teaching component, a lesson, and then it also has a cooking portion. We also talk about nutrition fact, label reading, um, how to shop in a grocery store and, you know, maybe resist temptations. Being educated about um, health, uh, self-care, um, your mental health, it empowers you so much to do what is right. Once you know, then you're accountable to doing it. In Cedra's case, um, she was going through a lot of changes in her family. When I first met her, her daughter had just passed. She had just started having her two granddaughters living with her. She knew that health was something she wanted to work on for herself and for her granddaughters, but I don't think she knew where to start. We're trying to internally motivate people and get them to a place where they're ready to set a personal health goal. I've seen changes in my physical health. I've lost four pounds. <laughs> I've seen changes in my mental health because I'm feeling um, more knowledgeable when I go to the grocery store. And in addition to feeling knowledgeable when I'm shopping for groceries, I kind of feel empowered right now because I know what to look for and I know what to expect and I pass that on. Our community still really needs us. Um, and we know that we need to continue to be here, we need to continue to provide that food access, and we need to ask ourselves, what can we do next to provide more? So I do the Pathway of Hope program here, um, which is an intensive case management program working with families and working with them in kind of any aspect that they need. So the biggest thing I think is budgeting, financial literacy, uh, things that we aren't necessarily taught in school that are very important. I lost my job during the pandemic. I wasn't able to like keep up with my bills and then I heard about like the ERAP program and everything and I'm like, oh, let me get on that real quick. So I did do that and um, I got um, connected with my caseworker, Crystal. She has been like amazing throughout this whole entire experience. The first time I met Tatiana, just sweet. Um, but definitely young mom, uh, just needing some guidance really. So I needed to like, um, budget my money. I didn't know how to start doing that or like where to start. Um, and uh, Crystal had helped me out with that. Like we actually sat down and everything I paid for, like we really like balanced that out. Her biggest thing was finding a job, one that was gonna be sufficient in pay, one that was going to be flexible with having two children. How do we make what we have stretch at this point? And then also, potentially save some so that we're able to not necessarily be in debt or you know have some funds to take our kids out things like that a lot of people like don't have people to like turn to or anything but then they do cuz if you reach out to the salvation army they're actually there they care the salvation army is a haven it's a place where people can go who may be confused or may be struggling and have a listening ear and have someone who's gonna love them without judging them and make a plan to move forward. You've heard a saying, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, teach a man to fish, you feed him for life.
Our goal is really to partner with families through case management and teach them to fish and teach them through workforce development, budgeting, nutrition education, really to better their lives and to thrive. Originally, I'm from Cameroon and we moved here about four years ago. So when we moved here to America, life was really hard on us. So I contacted a neighbor to see where I can have help when it comes to things like food. And then she told me about the Salvation Army. From that first uh, encounter with them, they gave me more resources on what to do if I need help in anything. We have after-school programs that provide a safe environment for students from kindergarten through sixth grade, full of uh, enrichment activities, space for them to learn and get extra help in things that they might be struggling in with school. Hi, my name is Delord Kendra Bomarano and I am seven years old. I'm a student in PA STEAM Academy and I am in second grade. I always wanted to be an artist because my cousin, Jesse, he is really so good at drawing. She is in love with writing uh, comic stories. She draws and she writes stories in comic forms. I said, wow, where did you learn this? She would say, oh, Salvation Army Mommy. I said, really? She said, yes. <laughs> did you learn it from a friend or from the teachers? She said, both. <laughs> yeah, they teach us and then we, we work together as a team. I always wanted to learn more stuff. I wanted to be like my teacher because she loves learning and I want to also love learning too. Oof, it has been wonderful since they started last year. And that is why they keep telling me every day, Mom, when is the Salvation Army starting the youth program this year? We want to go back to Salvation Army. So that's the impact. We, that's what we want. We want students to um, want to come um, and want to experience what we have and what we've planned and prepared for them. We also partner with businesses and organizations that will speak to our students about their career, their career path, um, how they got to where they are, what it took them to get there. So that program is very targeted um, to our sixth, seventh, and eighth graders as they're moving into high school, making decisions about you know their, wh the, what they're going to do with their futures and what they're doing like currently um, with their behaviors and things in school. You know, we're not just one organization in the community, but we're privileged to partner with a lot of other helping agencies in the community to help meet the needs of, of people in our community. I have seen moms go back to school and get their educations. I have seen dads, single dads, be able to finance the apartments of their dreams or homes of their dreams in safe areas to raise their kids. With the Salvation Army's help, having the resources and the knowledge of how to start over and start raising a family again. A coworker friend that I was uh, working with, she was in kind of the same uh, situation that I was in, and I had like gave her like all the information. This is what you need to do. Salvation Army really means a lot to me, and that is why I encourage, I recommend Salvation Army to so many of my friends. What? Most people perhaps don't know is the Salvation Army is a church. We have the full range of Sunday worship opportunities and Bible studies throughout the week and kids programs and all the things that you find in any normal church in your community. The most exciting things I learned is how to plan that Jesus died on the cross for our sins, that God knows everything about me and, and that it is good to eat healthy so I don't fall sick and God wants us to love everybody no matter who they are. I think the staff here is second to none. I have not called on them for one thing and was ever turned away. We don't turn our backs. We don't say no. We always try to figure out what we can do to help somebody that comes in and, and, and needs us. We don't come here to come to work every day for a paycheck. We come here to, to make a difference. People look for our red kettles that come out in November and December at the various establishments and grocery stores, but through the other 10 months of the year, giving to the Salvation Army isn't always at the forefront of their mind. So while we are busy at Christmas, we help over 4,000 children with toys and clothes and books for the holidays. We are here every day of the year providing other supports like 
spiritual programs, youth programs, nutrition education, and the food pantry. And so we really look for that support all throughout the year. When the kettles go away, we're still here and we still need your support.